when I was nine or ten years old, I don't know really what happened to my health. But after a year or so, he realized that this is something very serious. And when he took me to some other doctor, they realized that it was nephritis and both the kidneys were damaged. To tell you frankly, in those days our financial condition was not very good. Then my father one day told me, look, this is very difficult to maintain all the time with these drugs because it's, they are heavily drugging you. You just do yoga or just forget, forget about the life. Do or die, that's what the word he used for me. And I said, no, I must now take to this practice only because this is something giving me life. And that's how I started doing yoga. Or my father is special that he is teaching and others are doing. And that's how I picked up. And um, that was the, I think, the seed of the interest, which later I realized that just looking at him, so many things we could learn, so many things we achieved, like courage, especially. For whom of the month, if they keep on doing this, you, they find a change during the menstruation, dysmenorrhea is, is less, and, and menorrhagia, where too much of flow is there, it's all sort of, they find the lip coming, they get rid of those problems. And those who have got problem with the menstrual cycle, which is irregular, irregular menstrual cycles, their hormonal, change occurs. That's why, in a way, it is a boom for ladies. This is the pose in which they find restful. The thyroid tension is also lessened. I just, I explained that how the shoulder bone goes up, the throat is relaxed, so the pressure on the thyroid is lessened. And that's why whether in a hypothyroid or hyperthyroid process, though rest of the asanas they have to do, this is the one which helps them a lot. Centralize the body and though you are in a lying down position, your back rib should not go to a sleepy state, especially the rib region, which is below the bottom floating rib. If slightly comes upward, you find the chest rejuvenating. At, let me tell you about Guruji, one thing. Though he is a man that without having any medical background, but still very much sure about what he is doing, he can handle any problems of women. For me it is more than wide and it's not just the wood, it is more than diamond and gold because it came from the greatest musician Yehudi Menin, my father's pupil. Yoga is actually good for every profession, vocation and violin can be no exception. I practice yoga, whatever is my experience, although it is, it is beyond words and I could put it because of emotional touch to my language, musical touch to my language, I could articulate it. Not only can a uh, violinist learn a little bit of yoga, but much better a yoga father can produce such a wonderful violin. <laughs> Healing is an art. Science is a technique. Today the market is flooded with drugs, with various pills. Do you mean to say health can be purchased through pills, by swallowing pills? Or health has to be sweated? Even health may be tamasic, health may be rajasic, health may be sattvic. Just using the word health, has no meaning at all. Each and every uh, cell should be ringing with a bell that I am healthy, I am healthy, I am healthy. I consider that as a subject, pure, illuminative health. And that yoga is. The fire of yoga, if it has to be burned in the hearts of the people, people like you only can do that as I am with it. I was at the front line. Now, I want people to forget me when I am still alive. So that is why I got isolated myself. 